Okay, so I just saw the announcement trailer for the game 1-2 Switch. My biggest thing is that they, I don't know if this is even the gameplay. Like, I understand that it's two people doing certain things like playing sword fighting or, or, or the Wild West, which is the biggest thing that showed off in the trailer. Or, or maybe rock, paper, scissors. I get that kind of stuff. But the thing is, the biggest thing for me on this game <clears throat> that I think it might not sell well due to it looks like it's really trying to push local play, which is fine. Truly, it really is fine. Like, trust me. Thank you for trying. But I don't think it's going to really work unless you have a lot of friends or family members that like to play in one console in the same household or something like that. So as in that wise, I don't think it's going to really work. But it's, an, it's a super interesting concept, I really have to say. But I think that's a $60 game, which truly, it doesn't look like a $60 game. I, I think it personally might be a $20 game. I really do think. Uh, okay, if you really want to know, uh, all the information is on Nintendo.com forward slash Switch. So go check there. But um, it's just not like the most interesting thing. Yeah, that's cool, awesome, cool. We got a new game, a new IP for the Nintendo franchise, Nintendo Saga, whatever. So, it's it's an interesting, really, thing. But the thing is, it reminds me a lot of Red Steel. If you don't know, Red Steel was basically a promotional uh, game to really show off the Nintendo Wii. And for Wii U, uh, they really wanted to show off touchscreen capability, so they made a whole game called Nintendo Land, which that one actually did successfully. Uh, so, and not because it was bundled with it, but it actually did really successful on its own. So, that's pretty good. But with this one, I just don't really see that much of the potential, unless they somehow like, hey, here is a, a, uh, what's the word? Like, an online capability kind of thing that you could play on people online in certain ways, but the same thing goes for as in how will they know that it's you, and I, I don't know, it's a little complicated in my personal opinion, but I don't know. One other thing, and that's only one more thing. <laughs> I get how the Joy Cons have this this reader that like tells you, you know, that how far, how close you possibly are, who was faster, what's not. And the thing that I don't get is that are we not supporting the the uh, the the Wii uh, uh, motion sensor bar? Are, like like are, like are we not supporting anything like that at all? Because I know we're, we're not doing backwards compatibility. There's not there's nothing shows that, but it's just. I don't know, it gets me very curious about it. That's just kind of really the only thing that's kind of like popping to me. Is that how is it going to work unless you don't have people playing next to you? So that's kind of my only biggest gripe about it. But besides that, that's going to be it for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, leave a comment below. And of course, you want to support me any way, shape, or form, there will be a link in the description below, right below Twitter. So once again, thank you for watching. I'll see you all for the next one, all right? Bye.